Well, Michigan's roads are a pothole nightmare. Right now, it is nearly impossible to drive just about anywhere without being forced to dodge giant craters in the pavement. We are hearing from drivers daily about the shape of the roads and the destruction of their cars. We've been on pothole patrol for the last few weeks, finding them all over Metro Detroit. So 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham went looking for answers and learned about a possible long-term solution. Yes, good evening. Different year, same story. And if you've driven around Metro Detroit for any length of time, you likely have a pothole story or two. We need some real, um, you know, some long-term uh, uh, care to these streets because, I mean, cars, insurance is going up because, you know, you're breaking axles, you're breaking tire rods. The pain of paying for pothole problems. Anansia Paler tells me she came very close to having a costly fix herself. I was going to um, the drive-in in the summer and there was a gigantic pothole. It almost messed up my car. Um, it was like half the street was a pothole. MDOT, cities, and county road commissions are devising plans to fix what this winter's constant freeze-thaw activity has led to. Monday, Wayne County Executive Warren Evans said as of this week they are expanding staff schedules to 10 hours per day, six days a week. In a release, he said, in part, quote, Wayne County has a 10-year asset management plan to improve our roads and bridges, but more funding is needed, end quote. Evans is calling on the federal and state government to fund an infrastructure fix. Craig Bryson of the Oakland County Road Commission concurs on the need for funding and says the long-term solution to potholes is reconstruction and or resurfacing instead of patchwork. But I also asked him about the study and use of materials that are more durable and in theory would help roads last even longer. The materials are always changing. Every year they evolve a little bit. We work with, you know, uh, national Research, the National Research Board, which is the, the research branch of the federal government. We work closely with them and with other road agencies across the country that are always um, looking at these. The academic world is always looking into these. Uh, so it is, you know, that's kind of a, a gradual evolutionary thing rather than, a, you know, there's not, there hasn't been to this point any radical new thing that instantly is going to going to solve the problem, but it does get better. Dr. Nishanta Bandera is with the Lawrence Tech Transportation Institute. The civil engineer previously worked for MDOT, where he says they started building some roads using a drainable base, giving water a place to go. Water goes through the cracks and uh, uh, the spaces between the surface, and then it quickly moves to the uh, under drain, so it doesn't stay just below the surface of the, of the road. Bandera says the system's been in place on some Michigan roads for about 10 years now. Sooner or later, he says engineers will have a good idea on its effectiveness. But he says one of the challenges to mass adoption is costs. Installing those uh, uh, under drains and connecting them to manholes or, or somehow draining to uh, natural streams and so on. And it takes, I mean, it costs more. And so I also spoke with Omar Smadi. He is the director for the Center for Transportation Research and Education at Iowa State University. He used the analogy of a bank account. He says if you withdraw more money than what's in there, you'll have a deficit. And so he says with our roads here, he says at this rate, it is clear the investment has not been made and the roads are functioning at a deficit. I'm live in Wayne County this evening. Romulus, Darren Cunningham, 7. Action News. Well, hopefully changes will be coming. Darren, thank you yeah, for the you, live report and the help for information. You <laughs> could call it deficits or you could call it something else, Dave Rexroth. They're called potholes, Dave. That's what they're called. Well, or something else. Big deal. Yeah, I got you. Yeah.